Hello everyone and welcome back to another Tro video. So today I'm going to show you what mods that I actually use. Now this is not really like a definitive trove mods that you must have or anything like that. This is just mainly mods that I use that I think make the game look a bit better and just you know play better and stuff like that also before i start i want to say that i use trove tools i don't use steam like i don't manually download the mods i actually use a program called trove tools i'm playing on glyph by the way not steam basically it's a mod manager where it just basically you know you set the install path i think it actually does it by itself if you just install the program with the game installed or whatever so first up we have customized vfx buffs for arcane and martial I don't really see this mod too much because I'm usually farming U10 where I don't actually use Arcane because I don't really need it. But as you can see from the image, all it does is when you use Arcane, let me just use it right now, just Arcane and Marshall, it will be a blue flame and then the other one will just be a golden flame. Not going to do it because of the, you know, time. So anyway, next mod is the customized, VF uh, customized VFX for Shadow, Radiant, and Stellar. Now, this mod is actually pretty nice. It It's also handy just for Loken and gear because it shoots up a beam to the sky. So, I've actually found a lot of pieces of gear just from doing it. Let me actually go and show you what it looks like. So, here is the Shadow VFX right here. So, it's really nice because if you're, let's say you miss this piece of gear and if you're like up here, you can still see the beam as it does pass through blocks. So, it's pretty nice. And let me break the chest, see if I can get like a Radiant or a Stellar. It also has crystal too, which is nice. Like again, it goes through blocks, which is the main appeal for me. It uh, it also looks nice, but it's mainly for me anyway, where it goes up to the sky, so you can basically just easily locate any piece of gear that you miss. So here are the stellar V effects, which are one of my favorites. The this one and the crystal one are just I don't know. I just really like the way that they look. So the final one is the Radiant VFX. Sorry that this is kind of in a like awkward position, but it's just the one that I found first. Looks pretty interesting. I like the little bubbles, I guess. I'm not sure if the other ones had that, but yeah, this one kind of has like bubbles going up and it looks pretty cool. So the next mod that I have is just this Invisible Knight mod. It's not really useful for anyone else. It's basically just for, I guess, content creators or people who just want to get screenshots. If you go over to the knight, you can see he's invisible. So we can just go on a mount and, you know, just get a screenshot of the uh, mount without the player, which is pretty nice. Next mod that we have is actually a pretty useful one, in my opinion. It's called Light Bombs by Exodave. And as you can guess it just makes the bombs look like this it reduces the vfx but it's a pretty useful mod nonetheless so one of the bigger mods in the game at least in my opinion is the mod factory colorful tooltips as you can see i don't know why the picture is up here when the thing's here but oh well whatever so basically it gives you uh like all the little things on the side are just color coded so if we go over to let's just say go to a world right and I believe normally the text is yellow, but now when we get stuff like Glim and whatever, it's going to be, it, uh, it's going to be white. Like, as you can see, it's white there. I don't want to be on the Vanguard. But yeah, it's, uh, basically, I'm not sure how well I can actually show this one off to you. But it's basically, like I said, it's just a color coding for the things. Like, if you get a rare mount dropper, like... I know for a fact that if you get a Pearl Wisdom, it'll show up as like a light blue color. But yeah, it's just color coding for stuff. And I believe it also gives you a sound. Like some items give you a sound cue. So sorry that I'm not able to show that off like in full detail. Maybe there is a way that I could, but I'm just going to go on to the next mod. So. so this mod I might actually have to provide in the description because I wasn't actually able to find this mod. I needed to ask a friend to give me the mod. I think you can get it on Steam. But for some reason, Steam mods do not work for me. Like, when I download them, they just do not work. But you may have already seen this one if you watch my streams. But let's just go back into a U10. So, basically what this mod is, is it has a big light to the sky. And the reason why the light kind of looks like just a block. Like, it's not VFX like the... Well, I mean, it's VFX, but it's not like fancy VFX like the uh, Stellar Drops and all that. Because uh, it instantly goes to the sky. The ones that aren't looking like this, they take time to travel up. 
So this way you can see them instantly and also there is this bubble that you can see and it's actually pretty useful because obviously as you can see it goes through walls. So if you're by an enemy, like if there's an enemy inside of a wall that you can't see, you'll probably end up seeing the uh, orb, which, you know, orb boss finder. So yeah, you just locate the enemy, you kill it, and it's really good. Honestly, or yeah, honestly, the uh, this mod right here is probably one of the most essential mods in the game. If not the orb boss finder, definitely the one where... It goes up like this because I think this mod actually combines two mods. Uh, it has like the orb boss finder, which is the one that Mr. Because made, and then it combines the boss tracker. I think it's called boss radar. I I'm not specifically sure, but yeah, the the boss finder mod in general just a really essential mod that basically you all need. So the next mod that we have is a mod called up Pyro Disc Plus. If I can actually proc it, that'd be nice. Let's see if I can do that. Okay, so this is Pyrodisc Plus. Now, I'm pretty sure the reason for this specific mod is just to make the Pyrodisc more visible. So basically, Pyrodisc is just a bit more visible. I'm not sure if it reduces the V effects. It might, but let's go on to the next mod. So the next mod that I use is just simply called Rainbow Torch Mod. Let's actually look at the official name. Yeah, Rainbow Tier 3 Torch just makes the torch on your back. The Tier 3 version, which is a permanent torch, it makes it look like a rainbow, which is pretty cool. So these next mods are basically made by the same person. It's like Shadow UI, Shadow UI Claims. It's a uh, they're all individual mods that just change elements of the UI. Like this one's a claims menu, this one's just the UI, this one's the friends list, so you can see the friends list or not friends list. Well, friends is here, then we have like the character sheet, which apparently this mod is outdated, so I don't know if it's, uh, it, it looks like it still works for the most part, but the mod does say outdated in parentheses next to it, so take that as you will, but it's by, let's see, I think that was TFM, or let me see, uh, yeah, TFM, I think his tyke, I think that's how you pronounce her username, but anyway, so I said Mod Factory Colorful Tooltips was one of the most used mods, but I think I got that confused with the the Symbols Chat mod. Now this mod, I think it's safe to say that most people actually use this. Most people who are on PC and, you know, mod and stuff. Basically what it does is, if we go to the chat, you can see stuff like, if we scroll up here, you can see that there's the check mark, which is just from the Symbols mod. You can also go to here, you can just see the emote, so... You can type them out, or you can just click them, and you can see a house. So if I press enter, it'll show this. Pretty nice. It also does some other stuff. I believe this is this mod where it'll do stuff like this, where you can actually submit a uh, like personalized club tag or something like that. I don't know if the guy still does it, but I know that this mod is the cause of it. So yeah, we have like custom club tags. Pretty interesting, actually. You can see, like, some emotes here, just some more customized stuff. But yeah, so that's that mod. So the next mod that I use is called Blue Geode Surface. I believe it's also made by TFM. And as you can see, it just changes all of the blocks, like this block, to blue. It kind of looks like a really dark blue. It might not actually look blue. It might look more black to some people, but... I just use it because my favorite color is blue. Every once in a while, I will change it. There's many versions that she has. Like, there's a Fey biome looking one. There's a sand one. There's also medieval highlands. I think there's, like, one for each biome. So, basically, I'll try to put some of these mods in the description. Along with, like, time codes and all that. This next mod is not actually displaying in-game. But, basically, it's just displaying no clouds. I don't know if Geode actually has any clouds. But if we go to somewhere like the hub really quick, if we look up, you can actually see that there's no clouds. Now, the main reason why I got this mod in the first place is sometimes if you're too high up, uh, the clouds will actually pass by you and just obscure your vision. I think it's more of a problem in the cursed uh, Skylands or more so the Radiant Ruins world. Since all of the dungeons are just high up in the sky, the clouds are just going to you know, go by you, so if you have this mod, then obviously, you know, there's no clouds, and it just looks overall, overall better. 
So the final mod that I use is actually a mod that I recently just got a couple days ago, which is it's called Disable Outline Effect by Exodave. Now this is a mod that you actually have to manually download. It's pretty easy though, I don't really need to show you how to do it as uh, I'll give you the link to the website and once you're there, like it's, you know, Trove Tools or Trove Source, I mean, download the mod, you open it, it will give you like a text instructions uh, file, you read it, and it it literally takes like two seconds, you're literally just replacing a file with the file that's in the game, or file that's in the uh, f mod folder, I guess. So yeah, basically it just makes all of the, you know, everything have no outlines, which just looks, in my opinion, a bit better. Now, it seems to work well with water, like, water looks decent, it looks normal, it looks like water normally does. But if we come over here to the lava world real quick, you'll see that the lava kind of looks weird. I'm not sure why it does this with lava, I think it does it with chocolate too. But the lava kind of just looks... I don't know, it kind of looks like what it would look like on low resolution, or not resolution, but like low graphics. So yeah, these are the mods that I use. So it's not like a definitive mod list of 2020 like I know some people wanted. I guess it kind of is in some regard, but yeah, it's just mods that I use. Some of them are really good. The more helpful ones are probably the uh, Orb Boss Finder by Mr. Because. Boss Finder in general is probably the most mandatory mod in this game. It's probably the uh, single mod that I just cannot live without. I'll try to include the Trovesaurus links and all that, and you know, all that good timestamp codes, Trovesaurus links and all that in the description down below, just so you guys can actually get the mods for yourselves. If you're in Steam, I'm not exactly sure how it works because I don't think you can manually download mods in Steam, you know, use Steam Workshop, so unfortunately, I'm not sure if this will even help you if you're using Steam. The only thing that you can check to see is if the mods themselves are on the Steam Workshop, because like I said, some mods are on Steam Workshop, some mods aren't, some mods that are on uh, Trove Tools are not on Steam Workshop and vice versa. So yeah, this has just been my mods, so sorry that the video was all over the place, I don't specialize in these types of videos, so I'm just going to leave it off here, so if you like the video, you can like and all that stuff, you don't need to obviously. So see you guys later and see you in the next video.